Hello and welcome to Capella University's School of Undergraduate Studies, IT 2230, Unit 2, Assignment 1, Steps 11, 12, and 13. Let's take a look at our criteria for this step. Create a new query for the item table and include the item code and description fields in the design grid. Calculate the on-hand value, which comes from on-hand times cost for all, each record, for all the records in the table. Run the query, and of course we say save, where they say print the results. Let's get started. First, we come up to the ribbon, and we choose create. Use the design query. All of this is based on the item table. That's all we need. We're using our item code and the description for our fields. Now in this one, we do something different. Put your blinking cursor insertion point in the field, but now we choose zoom. Right click, so come up here, blinking cursor, right click, and choose zoom. We get our zoom window up here, and we want this to be called on hand value and a colon, square open, open square bracket, and that is calculated by on hand, close square bracket, asterisk is times, open square bracket, cost, close square bracket. This is how we say the new column on hand value is made up of on hand times cost. Let me tell it OK. And it's going to show because it's highlighted there. And now let's run the query and see what we have. We have our item code, our description, and we have an on hand. We need to expand this a little bit so we can read the whole word. On hand value. And we're going to save this as query 2-11. And it looks like we have time to do our others also. Let's look at number 12. Display and print the average selling price for all the items. This is so simple, it's easy to miss. All we're doing in this, we're going to create a query. We're going to use the item table as our basis. And we want the selling price. And literally, all we do is we have to come up here and choose some because it wasn't showing. And this is group by, and what we want is the average. So here's selling price. We're going to have the average of the selling price. So if you take the selling price of everything that this small business sells, what's, its, what's the, that average? One single number is all you need to come up with. Expand it so you can read the title of the column, average selling price, and that's all there is to it. And we'll call this query 2-12. Last one, query 13. Display and print the average selling price of items grouped by supplier code. Similar to the one we just did, but different. Let's create a new one. We need a design query. Again, we're just using the item table. And we need two things this time. We need supplier code and we need selling price. And we remember that, like all other computer programs, Microsoft Access works from left to right. So if we want to group these, sort these in ascending order, that's going to group them for us. And then that's going to be done first. And then within that, we choose totals again, the sigma up here, and that's going to give us the option to choose average. Because this is on the left, we'll see supplier code groupings first. Within the groupings, we'll have an average the selling price. Let's take a look. Run. And here we have three supplier codes, and this is the average selling price of the items from each supplier. We're going to save that as query for unit two. 13. And now to wrap up, we now have 14 queries because a 8 has two parts, all inside 
the single database Birds to You, which is a database for a small business selling bird related items, underscore my last name. All you need to turn in is this one database. Here are all your queries, everything that's asked for in Unit 2, Assignment 1 in IT 2230 in Capella University's School of Undergraduate Studies.